It's now mechanic here and today I want to show you how to change or uh, add or install batteries in your Actron Elite Auto Scanner CP9690. Um, there's three ways to turn this on. One is if you're in the car, right, you don't need batteries because the car will charge it and it will turn on. The other way is if you have a USB, in my situation, my USB doesn't match this right here. So I have to give me USB for this. If I have the USB, all I have to do is connect it and put it in my computer. But I don't I don't have it. It doesn't um this one doesn't work for this. Now the other way is um is adding batteries to it, installing batteries. Now um the way to put this battery first I'm gonna show you what not to do. Okay, um, I'm almost broke. My my scanner, I almost broke it because I didn't know how to. Um, I thought that if I take everything out, <laughs> that the battery, the way to put the battery will be inside. So now I'm gonna show you the mistake I made that I don't want you to make. Okay, so if you see this old, the orange and the blue, if you look at it closely, it looks like the the orange is connected to the blue. Believe it or not, for me it looks like it's connected. So what I did was, the mistake I made was, and I don't want you to do this, that I took the screw from here out, this screw, and this screw. Now, I took one out, I'm just going to show you what I did because I don't want you to do it and break um, your scanner because these scanners are very expensive. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to take the other screw out, oh, and I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, I took all three screws out, took them all three out, right, and this is what I try to do, and you shouldn't do this, and I almost broke it, I tried pulling it, you see this, I tried pulling it because I thought the battery, to the way to install the battery is in there, and you notice, see what I did, I almost broke it. But I said, wait, 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 wait. It can't be this hard because if I keep pulling, it doesn't want to come out in this side or this side doesn't want to come out. So I thought about it for a minute and watch how easy it is. The only screw I had to take out was that one. That one right there. Like I said before, I thought this was connected to this. I thought it was just one thing. So look at how easy it is. You just got to, once you take that one off, you turn it and you go very softly and look how it comes out and you can see that I installed the batteries already it comes just like this okay then you, all you have to do is just put the batteries correctly it gives you the positive so you know the positive is this right here so you just put it in four on AAA batteries So now, like I said, the reason why I'm, I'm doing it this way because I don't have the USB and the car's outside and I want to check my latest software. We at 4.3 software. That's where we at right now with this uh, CP9690. If you go to Actron um, and you, you go in there, you click the device you have, the, the scanner you have, and it'll show you, um, it'll say, you just click the latest version and it'll show you what to do and all that so the latest version for this one like I said the software is 4.3 so that's the reason why I want to find out so now to put this back now it has little, little, two little holes here you see it I want to show you another thing you put those two little holes in there and it connects and you put the, the screw back in now if you Sometimes we see this right here and we think we can pull it down. No, we can't pull it down or up. No, it doesn't do that. You have to go like this. Like I said before, very softly. Let me go. There you go. One of the batteries came out, but that's how you do it. But you want to do it soft because it's just plastic and you don't want to break it. And I know you pay a lot of money for it. So now you just put it back in right there, those two. You put the screw back on. It's a Phillips screwdriver. 
And when you do it, you don't want to go too hard because it's plastic and you don't want to break it. So you just screw it, right? There you go, see? Not too hard. And in my situation, if you took the screws out, you just put them back. And remember, the two top ones, see the two screws, is bigger than this one. This one is a little one, and this one is longer. Okay? So you close it up. You don't want to go hard. And make sure that everything is clicked around. Make sure that, make sure that all this is put in the correct spot if you did the mistake I made. There you go, close it up. There you go. Then you just look around, make sure that everything is closed. Let me see. And that's it. And it's gonna turn on and I'm gonna look for um the my um the software that it has. Maybe I'll do a video on it, I don't know. And this is how you change the battery in a CP9690 Actron Elite Auto Scanner. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Later, now mechanic.